Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today I will be sharing with you how much money I made during the past year 2021 from dividends. Just so you get some background, initially when I started investing, I really really liked dividends because my thought was, or my thought process was the following. I was like, okay, I don't know yet maybe that much about stocks, maybe I buy now this stock and it starts going down and it's down for 2-3 years or whatever before it gets to the same point where I bought it at, so why not just buy a dividend paying stock that at least I guarantee myself that I will be getting a 3%, 4% or whichever return from my investment just by holding onto that stock. So that was my initial investment. Of course, as years have gone by, I have learned a lot more about stocks, analyzing fundamentals, valuation and so on. So while at the beginning I was using dividends as a way to filter through stocks and select the ones that I wanted to invest in, that is no longer the case. So I focus now a lot more on the fundamentals, the valuation of course, and the future growth potential. And that then I selected a company and it also starts paying dividends. Great, but as I said, it is not my focus. With that said, I will be sharing now how much I collected in dividends during the year 2021, we will compare it also to how much I collected in dividends during 2020. We will also look at the top 10 stocks that paid me the most in dividends during this year. And we will also look at which has been my dividend yield based on the total current value of my portfolio. Going to the first point, in total in gross dividends during 2021, I collected $501.65. And of that, I had to pay off taxes from, you know, retentions from dividends, 77.7 dollars which represents a 15.51 percent of that and i was finally left with 423.86 dollars net if we compare this with the year 2020 in which i had much less invested in stocks i collected in total 257.22 dollars i paid in taxes from the dividends 39.78 dollars which represented 15.47 percent so very similar to this year and I was finally left with $217.44. So essentially, we can see that I almost doubled the amount that I collected from dividends. Not because the companies started suddenly paying a lot more, although some of them did increase their payouts, maybe slightly, five to maybe 10%, but mostly because I invested a lot more money into the stock market itself. Just so you get an idea, last year when I did this same video stating how much I collected in dividends, uh, my portfolio was worth $16,258.62. And at the moment, which the value of it has been dropping significantly during the past weeks, but still at the moment, it is worth $45,746.17. As you can see, although the value of my portfolio now now is more than double of that of a year ago, the dividends have not increased in the same proportion and that is because of what I explained at the beginning. And then if we talk about the yearly dividend yield of the portfolio based on its current value, this has been of 0.93% during 2021 and during 2020 it was of 1.34% and also please note that this is the net dividend yield already deducting the retention of dividends that takes place. Now let's look at the top 10 dividend payers during 2021. And for this, please note that I will be mentioning them in order based on how much I collected in gross dollar amount, not by actual dividend yield of the company itself. So starting with that, we have first on the list Walgreens Boots Alliance with $64.28, then WP Carey with $54.55, Simon Property Group with $44, Kraft Haynes with $36.80, ExxonMobil with $34.90, Omega Healthcare Investors with $34.84, IBM with $26.20, Helen Armstrong with $20.85, Kinder Morgan with $17.16, and finally on the list, Realty Income with $17.01. With it, I have already covered the purpose of this video, but what is this upcoming year 2022 going to look like in terms of dividends? Well, as I mentioned at the beginning, I am not focusing on dividend stocks anymore. And actually, if the market keeps dropping as it has during the past weeks, I'm even likely to sell out of some of these dividend paying stocks that are a bit more blue chip, more stable, to buy some other stocks that have been beaten down a bit more and that I feel like they have a lot more upside potential, even if they don't pay dividends at the moment. 
Secondly, I'm also working on reducing the diversification on my portfolio and bringing it down to only 10 to 20 stocks that I can easily monitor. What does this mean for dividends? Actually, it is very likely that during this year 2022, I will collect either the same amount or even less dividends than what I collected during this year 2021. And that is because, as I mentioned, I will be selling out, completely closing out of my smaller positions that currently some of these are paying me dividends to potentially invest in higher growth companies that don't pay this. In addition to that, my plan, of course, is to continue gradually investing every single month as much as I can into stocks to over time grow my portfolio and hopefully at some point in the future be able to retire. Of course, in one year, I will be doing a very similar video also around these dates, seeing how much I collected during 2022. So stay tuned for that. With it though, I will leave it for today. And what about you? How much did you collect in dividends during the past year 2021? Please let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, then don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're not yet subscribed. And as always, see you next time.